Welcome back to Pathologic 2. Last episode, we got infected. We get to speak to Murky's friend directly. Oh, it's great. I love having a literal pestilence as my friend. Um, alright, well, it's 4.30 a.m., so stuff is going to change 5, 6, 7 in about 3 hours. Big thing I want to do right now is head over to Yulia's. Yulia, Lou, Richeva, and see what they have to warn me about. I was also just thinking. <clears throat> remember the person that came and told me that I need to meet with Yulia? And uh, I asked, like, what the trap is all about. And they said some sort of a, like, hard object or something like that. I forgot the exact words, but they said something to that effect. And then I just realized, I think we've been spoiled that today is the day that General Block comes to town because the dead item shop sold army rations that mentioned general block in the description and i thought hmm something sturdy something like heavy general block that's probably it they've come to warn me about the general what about the general though yeah let's go over there um i also would like to test out this thing that i made Made from an infected heart, and I think a Metrol Plus. And we're in an infected zone, so hopefully I'll just find somebody on the ground, I guess? I prefer to do it in the theater, but... Hmm. Then again, I could also wait till tomorrow and wait till I need to do my rounds at the theater. That might be best, actually, because then I might actually finish part of my rounds by doing that. Hmm. All right, let's go to Yulia's. If I see somebody on the ground riding in pain, then I'll consider it. That sounds fucked up. Nuh. Uh, I, I don't think I want to stop in an infected district to pour some blood. There's Yulia's place. Yes, more bottles. I'm about to start taking damage from exhaustion. I need a freaking... Where's the night owls? I need some beans. I also honestly should just sleep soon. What are you doing here? Oh, sorry. I thought you were Clara. <laughs> You're fine. The Veronica. A kid made a gift for his father. Two weeks of careful work. He kept thinking how happy father would be when he opened it. He ran into the room, stumbled, but didn't drop the box. He held it out to father. Then father pulled a razor from behind his back and cut the kid's face. What? What? Here's another famous one. During the previous war, an officer came to a mother with two children in a camp. Choose which one we kill, the son or the daughter, he said. If you refuse, we'll shoot both. The mother gave them the daughter. They shot her. Why are you telling me this? Oh, and listen to this one. Go on. I think treachery is the worst sin. Don't you agree? Betraying a warm, living person who trusts you. Here's the story. Find a gullible person, an old one. Old people are helpless, you know. Make them follow you. And then... See where I'm going with this? That's what the Inquisition does to people. Yeah, don't touch old people and don't touch me with your words. That's the Inquisition. I am an Inquisitor's daughter. They're craftsmen, the Inquisitors. Crafting people. That's what they call their work process. Crafting people. Tomorrow they'll be here. What do we do? 
go, what do you want? Nothing. I just want to look him in the eye. You never approach them. Never touch them. They'll make you the villain. Do you get it? Well, I'm, I'm far from heroic anyway. Oh shit, the bachelor's here too. Research. <clears throat> Verb. To research. To seek out again what others have already found. See this girl, Burach? She says the Inquisition will arrive tomorrow. How does she know? She's an Inquisitor's daughter. An Inquisitor's daughter lives in our town? She's not a local. Funny. I didn't even think how she got here. It's not like she has wings. Then again, not every road in the world is straightforward and linear. Let us spare the girl torturous questions. She's confused enough as it is. And she came to you because every road in the town leads to your doorstep. That's how you design them. Do I have that right? Flattering, but I'm afraid the truth is much less fascinating. The truth being? I worked for the Inquisition a bit right before I came here calculated certain predictive models. The details are of no importance. I thought they did their own calculations. Was I mistaken? Bruh, this is serious. Do you even understand what kind of institution the Inquisition is? I know the rumors. they are arbiters, annihilators, geniuses, and so on. An organization of geniuses. I believe the Inquisitorial Corpse Corps is 19 strong. Or was it 18? No, 19, unless Orf resigned. Their task was solving the unsolvable. Like this outbreak of ours. I get it. No laws, no ethics bind the Inquisitors. Their human missiles caring only of the mission. Nothing stands between them and the mission. What does this mean for me? They'll take you, Daniil and Clara, and they'll trade you, turn you into tokens. I'm not sure you can really avoid it. Unless you flee. But there's no way out. I suppose you're doomed. <clears throat> so why did you call for me? I just... Th I think you should know. I'm a logistics expert and... prognostician. And I can tell you some things do depend on your actions. Even if it seems like you're doomed and nothing can be changed, it's not true. A warning can and will change your course of action, as well as the outcome. You're an intelligent woman, Yulia. I'd love to learn to learn from you. Powers that be have sent a special commissar our way, one that people refer to as an inquisitor. I wonder if General Block is still coming today then, because the inquisitor is not General Block, those are different people. I'm like 99% sure. They certainly were different people in the first game. What are you doing here? Your behavior is ridiculous. Stop playing detective and start tending to the sick. Hey, I don't know what to do. I'm at a loss. Me too. Do you know what the Inquisition is? I've heard about it. I carry this cross willingly. I found myself in your damn town by accident. When hell broke loose, I tried. I tried to fight this wretched plague. I took responsibility. I did everything I should have. Do you understand? You've done a lot. The Inquisitor will take the one who bends reality. They'll twist them, break them. The person responsible won't even understand how they decided to put a bullet in their own head. That's their method. Do you consider yourself free, Burach? 
Yes. I don't know where this girl came from, but their inquisition is up next. Our current situation is exactly the kind that they're tailored to solve. Have you ever considered angels, Burak? How do you imagine them? Why even ask? You don't believe in God, Oinen. An angel is a nightmare. Their purpose is to instill primal, oppressive horror. I think if angels existed, they'd resemble a divine pillar of light. From the heavens to the earth. Devoid of anything remotely human. But inquisitors are people. What now? <clears throat> Is there anything I can do to prepare in the next two and a half hours? I really should sleep. Is there a bed here? No. Um, but there's one at Stamatins. And they are infected, so I do need to treat them anyway. Oh, right. Katarina is also infected. Hmm. What do I have as far as medicine? Aside from the experimental stuff? I have one nerve, one bone. Well, okay, I also have this antibiotic for nerves, so I have two nerves, basically. And then whatever that is. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, I think I'm going to go over to Stamaton's loft and sleep there. But let's stop at Katarina's place along the way. Where's the save point? There it is. That wasn't a good sound. I was wondering if that happened every time I saved, but I did it a second time and it didn't. Oh shit, I'm really thirsty. And I have no water. Try to kill me, aren't you? Come here. Yeah, fuck off. I've got so little stamina that's really dangerous. Makes combat a lot harder. Now taking damage from exhaustion. Hi, Katarina. Oh, this is the only diagnostic I have? All right. Either bones or nerves, and I just did bones, so it must be nerves. I'm wondering if I should use the good stuff, this stuff, or this stuff. I should you I'm about to go to Peter though, and honestly, I care about Peter more. But Peter might not have a problem in the nerve layers. Uh, I'll just use this. Oh. That was the wrong one. Interesting. That's the first time I've had that happen. It said it was either bones or nerves, and I used a bone one, and it ended up not being nerves, so it must have been bones, but it didn't reveal itself as bones the first time. I wonder if it's because it wasn't a Yas Plus. Maybe the plus tinctures are better at revealing that sort of stuff? I don't know. 
Or maybe I've gotten super lucky before? Because I used that strategy on all his patients at the hospital and it worked every single time. Sorry, Katarina. They still have a pretty good chance of surviving. Because it's only their first day infected. Alright, let's go crash it. Peter's place. Oh, we got a bat guy. Are you the same guy from before? Are you gonna try to run? Yep, it's the same one. <laughs> like three people down the end of that street. I remember this is exactly where I got mobbed by all those people and died a while ago. Let's go this way. Wait, is there a way through here? Shit, there isn't. It's alright. At least got an empty water bottle. Worth it. I'll just sneak past him. Freaking sleep. My infection's noticeably gone up. <sighs> Alright, painkiller. <laughs> I could drink the unknown potion myself. <laughs> uh, no thanks. nasty noise again. Let's do three hours. Only mm. What is that? I mean, I'm pretty sure the person is Nara, was that their name? But what is that triangle of light? Heal that much. Whoa. There's a coffee person back there. Please give me some coffee beans. Why 
Why did they die? Oh, I just talked to them. They were dead tired. <laughs> dead tired. Is there something I could have done? I don't think so. I couldn't interact with them at all. Fuck. They didn't die from the kin, did they? They weren't murdered in their sleep, were they? As if things weren't already bad. Day seven in which new actors enter the stage and the old ones reveal themselves in unexpected ways. Right, what have we got on the agenda today? Things are starting out great. We've started act four. Hold on, so does that mean... Hmm. Interesting. So the whole quest to test out my antibiotics isn't listed anymore. Really, it seems like basically everything ended after the end of Act 3. Almost nothing carried over, except making the hospital rounds, I guess. But I mean, surely I could still test them, right? It's not like I can't test them, it's just... It's not a quest. Man, I... I feel like I... Wish I got more testing done. I wish I could do something to save Reuben, but I have no idea what it could have possibly been to save them. I don't think I could have. I feel like I failed, but I don't think I did. Man, right after we just had that, like, really sweet moment where we were talking to Reuben as they were sleeping, recounting old childhood stuff. I was starting to warm up to Reuben. <sighs> what do we got? That's the hospital stuff. Some evenings, kids gather at the station. Reuben's... Wait, what? Reuben spends nights at home now. Reuben's dead. Is that just telling me I should go visit Reuben? I mean, there's no quest marker. If you hear the earth grumble, yep. Step people meet at Saba's place. Spill rivers of blood. That's still carrying over, yay. The outside world has finally made itself busy with solving our town's fate. What does this mean for me? Wonderful things, I'm sure. Maybe today's a day to sleep in. That's better. I'm sure I'll regret that. I don't really have much diagnostics. Is there a point in giving him just a single Yoss tincture? I mean... I don't think so. I'll come back with more tinctures. go right now. I, I want to go to Ruben's place. It's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to Ruben's place. That's the best way there. Weird street you designed, Yulia. Kids? Can I get some, uh, kids so I can trade? Whoa. 
Messenger, Artemy Burach? Well, Aglaya Lilich, a state inquisitor and commissar for critical emergencies, has arrived in town. She has chosen the cathedral as her base of operations. As one person responsible for the current situation, you have been invited to a meeting immediately. Immediately? Doesn't sound like an invitation, more like a notice of interrogation. Perhaps. Yeah, the sick are my first priority. The Inquisitor will have to wait. Artemy Burach, no one cares what you want. The Inquisitor plans to solve the current crisis in under a day. <laughs> Good luck. Hmm, if that's so, there must be a line all the way to her office, with or without me. Immediately. Piss off. I'm sure I'll regret that. An Inquisitor arrived in the town. She wants to see me. I have nothing to show her, but hiding is not an option. Oh, um, yeah, my hunger's pretty high. I should probably eat. But then again, that's going to increase my thirst, and I don't need to eat right now. Let's wait till I can drink. Are you a bad guy? Really? You want to try this? All right, I'll stab you in the face. Gotcha! Chose a dead end, asshole. Oh, knife. It's almost broken. I don't know how much I could sell that for. I don't care to pick up the soap. The knife, though, I want. Actually, you know what? I can probably just put stuff in here. What? Oh, you looted the body. Fuck you. What just happened? Capella wants to tell me something. I don't know how I know it, only that I do. Oh, that's so fascinating. They are clairvoyant and they do have powers. Perhaps that's how they've communicated with me. An egg. I don't think that'll increase my thirst. Nope. Wait, did I just... Oh, you can only stack up to five bloods. Hmm. That's a problem. That takes up a lot of room. Still trying to get to Ruben's place. I'll go around this way. Strange place, the termitary. No, oh, it's an infected district. So this is probably bad water, huh? No? No, it's clean water! Holy shit! Let me eat all this food then. Almost no hunger. Sweet. Hmm. 
I'd like to increase my immunity. I don't think I want to take the Yoss Tincture though, because that's going to raise my hunger. Eh, it's fine for now. Oh, it must be this zone that's infected, because technically this is not an infected zone. You can just see there's like a wall of miasma. A bow to you, M. Shen. A bow, Yorgachin. You see the lines far ahead. We only see them close. Earth tells us that Burah's line will lead him to great wrath soon. You will face a trial. To help, we offer you a gift. Our silence. Meaning they're not going to talk to the Inquisitor? Okay. What trial? You know that better than me, Yargachin. Isn't there enough pain in your life? I know nothing. You need no advice from the crowd or the murmuring of passers. Listen to your heart, M. Shen. Listen to whoever is important. The kin will no longer speak to you in the streets. What? I thought you were going to not talk to the Inquisitor. Why would they no longer speak to me in the streets? That's odd. It's not like they hate me. It's the opposite. They like me so much that they're not going to talk to me? Is it so, um, like, the Inquisitor doesn't see me associating with the kin or something? Other people are reluctant to talk now, too. No one wants to touch others anymore, not even with words. Oh. Oh. Let me just grab that real quick. Yep. Oh, just updated because, yeah, this is an infected district. God, everybody's in fucking danger. Jesus Christ. At least making tinctures to increase people's resistance is not hard or expensive. But yeah, a lot of people need them. Andre Stamaton, Saba. I've already given it to some people, thankfully. And they just need treatment over here. Huh, it gives me the check mark. Even though I gave them the wrong antibiotic, I guess that just means, you know, you did something and you can't do anything more right now. Anyway. Ruben's apartment. I wonder if I'm just free to loot Ruben's apartment. We'll see. If I am, then I should go back and dump a bunch of my stuff. People say Anna went to the river at night to drown mice. Guess she hopes to cure herself. What? Cure herself by drowning mice? You mean those cute little jumpers? You fuck her. Anna, so that's Anna Angel. First you lure children and then you kill cute little mice? I'm definitely not going to give you anything, Anna. Cure herself by drowning mice? She threw some sack into the gullet. I don't know what's inside. We have a custom. To avoid bad fortune, one must drown a mouse. You see, trouble grabs its tail, thinking it has grabbed luck. By the time trouble realizes its mistake, the flow of water drags it away. So she must be drowning mice, even though we don't believe such customs. Throwing sacks into the gullet. Curious. Very curious. Anna Angel, something bad is happening at her place. And she's right there. Where is the gullet? Where is the gullet? I'm looking at the names at the bottom. Maybe it's not a name that appears on the map. A more informal name, maybe? Yep, 
Yeah, I don't see it. Huh. This is Ruben's place. Ruben, what happened to you? I swear to God, if I find Ken in here, I'm gonna fucking stab them all. I'm just free to open all these doors. Man, I'm sure there's a shitload of loot in here. Oh wait, it says they'll know. Ruben? Or just the people in the neighborhood in general? Let's go upstairs. Is this where they slept? Ruben? Where the fuck did Ruben go? So they didn't die in their bed. I can't say that's a good or a bad thing, really. Did I go in every door? It's a hell of a dresser. Huh. Oh, does it? Oh, it lowers my respect just to open it. Well, I might as well take it then. <laughs> Did it lower my respect again to open it? Does it lower it every time I open it? I don't think so. I'm trying to make a room for this twine right now. I just want to drink it. Uh. Well, that lowered my respect. I guess just taking stuff, like, the more you take, the more it lowers your respect. Calling me to Old Georgie Boy. Georgi. Oh, I think somebody told me that um, it's not the last name of this family is not actually pronounced Kane, but uh, I think Kine. So Georgi Kine. I'm still probably gonna call him Georgie because I like it. It's fun. How did you die, Reuben? I should go brew stuff. Then again, I should also talk to Anna. Let's go talk to Anna.